on Monday, there was an incredible call. Uh, we had 54,000 uh, black men who signed up for our Win With Black Men call. That, of course, took place one day after. You had 45,000 sisters uh, who were on the call on Sunday. It's been an incredible week because uh, on Tuesday, you had Latinas who met Wednesday, South Asian women, Thursday, white women, Friday, you got black gay men. Uh, Michael Skolnick is organizing a call for white men. Uh, you had Howard uh, folk who organized their call. You had a uh, Gen Z organizing their call. Uh, this is what happens. I keep trying to tell everybody how black folks uh, are trendsetters uh, and we are tastemakers in this country. Well, one of the co-hosts uh, of that call on Monday, Khalil Thompson, executive director of Win With Black Men. He joins us right now. Uh, glad to have you, man. Thank you. Uh, have you been blown? Have you been blown away by the text messages and the calls and the response uh, since Monday? Truly, uh, on Monday, my phone stopped working 10 times. I had to start it, restart it, reboot it, put ice on it, because it literally was overheating with so much engagement. I had to turn off the filter that we had, showing the feet of people that were coming on. So no, it is a truly a blessing to see everybody being engaged. And see, when I was talking to uh, Holly, with Win With Black Women, she, she was like, look, we just do our call every Sunday. We were not expecting this. Uh, and I told her, she said, so how did y'all do? I said, well, I said, well, Mike called me. I said, listen, we're going to do this within StreamYard. We're going to do it on Black Center Network. But we're going to push on YouTube and Facebook so people can have access to it. She said, man, we should have called you before. She said, before we did ours. Because again, I remember, remember somebody sent a text. Yep. And they said, man, I hope we have 10,000. And it was like, bro, well, this is temporary ex uh, expectations. I didn't say nothing. <laughs> the reason I, because I, I didn't say nothing because I was getting text messages from sisters who were saying y'all's graphic is showing up in our chats. Really? This was around noon. Oh, Remember, we dropped that. The graphic went out around 1030, 11, 11 on yeah, Monday. Yeah, yeah. An hour later, <laughs> sisters was like, yo, this is showing up in our group text. Group chats. We were finding that uncles, granddads, cousins were sharing it just organically, making its way around. WhatsApp chat, signals, text, uh, you know, DMs. People were literally just being, we wanted that emotion that we felt yep. years ago, back in 07, 08. Wanted to find a candidate now that really could speak for our community. And we know Vice President Kamala Harris is going to step up to the plate. She's going to win in November. And I said this on the panel this afternoon. I have a seven-year-old daughter the reality for her now seeing that the presidency of the United States is no longer something that she can just dream for. Right. It could be a real possibility in her lifetime is yep. a beautiful thing. So, uh, so check this out, y'all, for everybody uh, who's watching and listening. So the next day after Phenomenal Monday, we're in the chat. And so General Honoré, good seeing you. I'm going to chat with you in a second. So Deshaun, be sure to let me know when I can grab the general time. So uh, see, y'all see how this thing goes. <laughs> so next day, y'all, we're in the chat. And so Khalil says, oh, yeah, so we do our call. Um, we do our call once a month. And I was like, nah. <laughs> no, bro. We're going to do it once a week. You're going to be doing once a week between now and the election. Exactly. He was like, OK. I was like, no, 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 no. I said, this momentum is heavy. I mean, we were literally, as, right before this interview, we're on the phone with Zoom to make sure we can expand it to have 50,000 people. We know we're going to go more. We want to make sure we can get as many brothers around the country to join this conversation. Look, it doesn't matter where you sit. Right. Obviously, I know who I'm voting for and who I'm supporting. We want to make sure you have all of the right information. Yep. So when you walk into that voting booth, yes, it's important to vote for president, but I want you to uh, vote for who's going to be on the judicial committees for yep. you, who's going to be your city council member or your school board representatives. you got to start worrying about the lower part of the ticket. Those people effectuate your day-to-day -day change and influence your lives more than you really realize. Uh, from, from your organizational standpoint, Sure. Um, what did it look like before Monday in terms of the calls you did? How many folks would normally be on your call? We would have anywhere between 20, maybe I think 75 was the highest we got. Uh, and as you know, starting up doing your own stuff, paying out of pocket, just trying to get it going. Hey, man, I'll join if I can. I got the kids I'm putting down here. Between now and then, I think there's a text message from Blake every five minutes. You got the document together. We figured out the plan. Others are asking what's our policy positions, where we're moving. And this is the type of conversation that yep. we want to have. We want to figure out a way that while I support Vice President Harris and I yep. want her to be my president, 
I want to make sure that we have a conversation about what right. it means to make sure black men in the black community are supported throughout her entire process. Man, you're educating and you're enlightening because exactly. look, cats need information. They don't know. Right. They don't. And they don't understand that you got to check in Ohio that just purged people from the voting rolls. Yep. So you, that you don't show up on election day or there you go. early voting and you're not registered and you miss the voter registration deadline. There you go. You, you got to show up and understand what it means that if you're a returning citizen, have your rights been re-enfranchised? Are you good to go? Uh, if you moved, if you're a college student, if there is a recent uh, state bill that came out that is disenfranchising you, what are you doing to make sure you're educating yourself? Yep. Come to us. We want to make sure we're that resource. When we're black men, we can provide that for you. Make sure you get all the true information. So how have you also uh, let your folk know uh, our words about world has now changed? <laughs> uh, it now looks a little different uh, because you now got in your hands now a database of 54,000 names. And greatly thank you to you. Thank you to Black Star Network. Thank you to Roland Martin for all that you've done to partner with us to make sure this could be a reality. So truly happy to sit at your feet and learn from you, big brother. Um, but we are excited to make sure we're not going to spam this list. We want people to really get true information. Yep. They show up on Sundays. We have our call this Sunday. It's going to be 7 p.m. Eastern. Please, uh, if you go to winwithblackmen.com, I'm sorry, winwithblackmen.org, sign up. We want you on the call this Sunday to continue the conversation. Right. And then again, I'll, uh, my team would... We, we, we know how to take the Zoom. Yes, you do. How to stream it. There you go. That way, so if folk can't get in, we still got it over still here. over there. Because the whole point is to provide as many people as possible access to the information. Exactly. Exactly. We want to make sure you and your community go back and tell brothers that you, you don't just log into the shop and when you're going to get that shape up, hey, man, I overheard this. Is this true or not? And then before you know it, that gets into the algorithm. It starts right. affecting what people are thinking. It yep. shows that those negative comments start pushing all the way up. Yep. We just want the truth. And we want you to make your own decision with the most informed information. Well, and the reason I also think this is important because like, I get tired of these politicians doing a barbershop tools. I say, y'all, all of us, I say, listen, my barber come to me. <laughs> Was it? I said, so this whole idea where like, I get the concept, right. I said, but we got to use the tools. And I had sister telling me they got daddies who were 70 years old who don't know nothing, who were like, hey, hey, come yep. set this thing up. Yep. That's how they interested they were uh, to hear the information. Exactly. And it's amazing. I, I saw the, the video that Michael sent us about that one young lady who was talking to her dad who's like, he's not going to vote. What is this point? He logged in and stayed on for all four hours and 10 minutes of our call on Monday. He left and he donated by taking that action, by taking that next step, believing in the message because other gentlemen are saying that, hey, you got to stand up. We were in the panel we were talking earlier about misogyny in our community, how we support black women, how we yep. show up. We really want to figure out a way that this can change the narrative and the conversation, how Absolutely. we do engagement. Well, man, we got lots more work to do. Yes, we do, and sir. We're going to keep driving information, so Appreciate let's it. make it happen. All right. I appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks a bunch.